morning everyone sorry i've not been around as you can imagine it's been back to bed job with the covid again um it's been quite difficult but i was asked by a company that i'd not heard of before called new craft day to um try one of their products and you know do a wee video um what i love about it is they do cross stitch as well as diamond art because I do a lot of diamond art when I can. Um, it's so relaxing. Uh, you can't imagine how something be so relaxing, but it really, really is relaxing. It's easy to do. And I find, you know, if I'm in a lot of pain, I can still do it without too many problems. Anyway, so I got the package. Uh, was it yesterday? And... All I've done so far is I've just cut this bit off. This is all I've done is just, just cut it off so I can unpackage it. So I'm hoping it's the one that I chose because <laughs> you never know. So let me just have a go at this because I'll probably have to, yeah, just look a little bit more to get it out. Right. So you see, it's really, what I love is it's yodel. You see, and of course, yodel do such amazing deliveries um my guy that comes he he's adorable um obviously i live upstairs this used to be an old police station i'm living upstairs um particularly if you're not feeling too well um he brings it up for me it can be a huge parcel with a bike in or something and he'd still bring it upstairs for me <laughs> bless him um so great because i did tell them royal mail uh well struggling like no tomorrow because of the strikes and everything so that was a real treat now i'm hoping you can see this because we have had so many days of very 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 dark weather that it's been hard to try and do a video um i've got all my lights on so i'm hoping that you'll be able to see this so this is how it comes this this is the general way that most come you'll have a plastic bag and it'll be inside here now let's just undo that bit and then pull the bit out inside there we go now as all it is rolled up and it's like normal paper you know we're all crafters we know with paper you just roll it back the other way and it will lay flat so let me just do that now i was trying to find something that would appeal to us junk journalers because obviously i knew it would arrive after christmas so you didn't want anything with santa on it <laughs> because you know christmas is finished now so this is what you get and as you can see it's a squirrel i will show you the proper picture in a minute on the actual site so it's easier to understand what you're doing you get um a little tray and that's what you put your your uh diamonds in this is the glue and this is what you do it with okay you then get all your little colors it's like doing painting by numbers and cross stitch sort of combined it's the only way i can explain it and it is so pleasurable and easy to do so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open this up here, if I can. Bag's not wanting to open. Come on, come on, come on. There it is. Okay. Now, these little baggies are so that when you open one of these and you go on to another colour, I hope you can see them. These little baggies, when you open one of these and you go on to the next colour, you pop them in there. You pop what you've not used into there. And then um, I usually keep this so I can see the number through the bag. I have another way of storing them as well, which I'll show you in a minute, um, because they have all the tools on the site. They have an amazing array of all the tools, which is really, really good. So let me just show you what you're doing. Um, here we go. Just undo this because I don't know whether it's loose together or I have to cut the bag. I'm going to cut it because I can't see an immediate way in. Oh, here it is. You can say, 
see, I definitely did not go poking around in this to find out what was in there. <laughs> so here we go. So here's all your little... They're called drills, they're called diamonds, uh, crystals is another one, uh, particularly the round ones, because you can get round and square. And they come in different sizes depending on the size of the work that you're going to do. Now I'm going to actually lift up, it will be easier for me to come down and do a little bit up here, okay? Now that is a J there, so let's try and find J. On the other side here, you have your chart like you would be cross stitch so you look for J here and J is 800 so you look for 800 under here let's have a look so we can find J it's always the one you least put in there is that underneath there so I'm going to pop all that lot behind me on the bed Room. I will show you my story, how I store them as well. There's two ways of storing them. One is I put them in these little baggies, and these are so cheap if you don't get enough baggies. Um, on uh, Amazon, eBay, really, really cheap. Um, I'm not sure if they do the baggies on New Craft Day. I've not. That was one thing I didn't look up, but I will have a look. And then I use like, you know, the clip lock, the little plastic boxes. I stick them all in there and I find that really, really useful. And then I'll show you another method way of sticking them in a minute. Right, let's, so they're perforated, but I find it easier to cut because sometimes the perforations, you know, sometimes they may miss some perforation or something. And you can sometimes get into the next bag and you don't want crystals everywhere. Now, if you wanted to, you can fold that over and actually use a bit of tape on the back. That's another way of doing it. So let's just get some out. There we go. Whoops. See? My um, son's girlfriend, I brought her a couple of these last year for Christmas and um, the girls got hold of them and they're not very old and they had them in the carpet and everywhere. <laughs> right when you poke that into there that's the glue and that is what will stick onto the back of these so you can move them okay uh, years ago they used to have the sticky pencils if you've done crafting you remember the sticky pencils um, that you used to use to move things but this is so much easier so let me just you peel the back sheet off don't remove all the backing because if you get fluff and things like this it's like double-sided tape and if you get too much mess on this you're not it's not going to stick very well um, but in normal use if you do it, use it how you're supposed to you will find that the adhesion is amazing absolutely brilliant you can shake them and that they stay on. So being a square, you just look for the J's and you literally just pop them in. Now, if you're not sure that you're going to be that accurate with getting them all lined up properly, uh, there is a tool for straightening them up as well. And you can buy extra glue. And if you miss up, which we all do, you know, where you put the wrong colour in sometimes, you know, particularly if it's late at night and you're tired. Um, there are little tweezers you can get that will help you easily remove them. And when you've actually finished it, you can get a big, like, um, I think what it looks like. Uh, it looks like the sort of thing you'd put plaster on with. And you can rub it over and it will make sure they're all uh, stuck down. I like to then, when I've finished, you cut all the outside bit off because obviously you only want the actual picture. And then I frame them. Um, I've got several all over the house as well as lots and lots of cross stitch. Um, so there, can you see? That's so quick just to do that little bit. Um, 
I remember when uh, Dawn Bibby, she first started doing these on TV. It was amazing that you could do the size of your hand in an evening. Um, because once you start these, there are so many things you can do. You can make decorations, you can make cards, you know. Uh, there is such a variety of uh, diamond out, out there, it is unbelievable. So this is basically what you do. So I'm just going to move that over there and pop that back and pick that little one up so it doesn't go all about. Now, when you get further down, what I tend to do is I tend to cut like a square. So I can lift that square out and on. And when I've finished that bit, I will then move on to the next bit. It is better to start in one corner. You can start at the bottom, you can start at the top. That is your choice. But once you do that, you know where you are. But finish that area first before you go on to another one. Okay, so that is the basis of diamond art. Let me just move that out of the way and I will now show you the actual picture. So I've got my iPad all set up set up so you can see really easily the website okay i'm just going to move you down a wee bit so you can see better so this is what i've got what i'm doing okay this lovely squirrel obviously this time of year still a lot of snow around ice and what have you and of course new york and the areas around there they have gone through hell they really have with the snow this year so my thoughts really are will with them i will link my one underneath you know my video now here as you see whenever you go onto the 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 website you will get offers okay and it's like this you buy 25 pounds and two pence worth of stuff you get 166 off you know and it's great and all you do is you just write click click collect all and it automatically goes onto your basket so when you come up to it later on you're there if you sign up to the emails, which is at the top here, the subscribe bit, pop your email in there, subscribe, you can get 10% off your first order, which I love. And as you've seen, it's been flicking through here, Christmas ornaments. Who would think you'd be doing diamond art Christmas ornaments? It is a beautiful, beautiful sight. It makes you feel like you're welcomed and the prices are incredible. OK, now, because we're doing diamond art, I'm going to show you diamond art first. And we've got diamond art crafts here, right? storage box. Let's go on that one first. Look at this. How gorgeous is this one? Let's just tap it. Like that. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. Trust me, you'll be spending hours and hours looking at this. Beautiful boxes, tissue boxes. There's a llama, a mini mouse. I don't know whether it's the same in the states, but at the moment, mini mouse is so popular with all the girls at the moment. They all want to have the clothing with mini mouse on. It's just gone really crazy here. So, you know, as you can see, there are so many things, and this is just the storage boxes. So there's lots and lots and lots of things for you to do. Now, tools. Let me have a look at the tools. Okay. Now, I'm going to get you my box, which I'm going to stick on top of here. Can you see here, this one? Yeah. Can you see, you've got little, little, they look like, you know the tic-tac boxes that you get? Well, this is mine. I'll have to bring it back up, because otherwise you're not going to see any of it. Okay, you get one of these, and it's got a handle. So if you're travelling, it's great, absolutely great. So let me just move that out of the way. And you can keep everything so neat in these. Whoops, there are. See, it's all falling out of me. As you can see, this is already a started one. So let's pull one out. And as you can see, you've got all your little crystals in there. Now, these are the circular ones. The other ones are square. Now, if I pop a couple in a thing, you'll be able to see the difference. Can you see the difference? You see, these are square. You've got the square ones and you've got the circular ones. Okay? Circular don't show up the lines so good. Um, you know, your mistakes, you know, where the lines are not straight. 
So if you're starting out, I would recommend starting with the wee dots, okay? Now, this is the tool I was telling you about to smooth it all out. It's really, really good. Um, I've got a diamond art here that I've actually been starting. So, oops, I don't know if it's shoes it falls on red. So I can actually show you what you would do. Um, I'm hoping you can see this okay. So you'd literally put it on top and then like this and it will, you know, make it stick properly. Because you, know, you know what double-sided te tape's like. Sometimes it doesn't, you know, it just needs that little bit extra pressure on the top. Um, very, very simple, very, very cheap thing to do. Then you can get, this is your basic picker-upper. Then you can get one like this. Now, mine hasn't got batteries in, but when it's got batteries in, if you click this, a light comes on. So if you want to do it at night, you can really, really clearly see where you're going. Without the batteries in, it's so light, but it's easier for me to handle with the problems with the fibromyalgia and that in my hands. Um, so these are really, really good. And I know they have them on the website too. Um, you can get different heads for this too. So when you've got, I told you about the pencils, didn't I? <laughs> the sticky pencils. When you um, look at the bottom of this, you've got all these tools, okay? There's lots and lots of different shaped tools that goes on the bottom. I've got several in here um, of the different types of tools that you can get, tweezers. It's all different things that you can get just to make your life a bit easier. What you do with this is you will put it between... Sorry, I'm moving things back and forth, but it's easier to show. You will put it between like this, okay? And it will straighten up your O's, okay? Oops. So that's really the basis of it. It's really easy, really simple, so much fun. And you will be just whiling away so many hours the time just flies by. You, you, you're there and you're thinking, goodness me, is it tea time? And, you know, you've missed your bedtime. <laughs> it's one of those hobbies. Now, the other thing is they do the gorgeous cross stitch as well. And I know a lot of you do cross stitch. I'm just trying to get you. I do apologise for keep lifting this up and down. I just want to give you the best view of everything. Um, let's go back to home. Uh, where are we? Uh... Uh, here we are, see, cross stitch. Okay. I mean, look at these cross stitches. How stunning is that? You know, I mean, I was just so delighted with all the different kinds of cross stitch and, and I didn't know which way to go. You know, it was like... Do I choose this one? Do I choose that one? Do I go cross stitch or do I do um, diamond art? I was just, I was really, really stuck. I really was. That's what it was like. That's how much pleasure I got from it. And it's just gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. And every type of um, selections that you can go through, you've, you've got, like your flowers, you've got your people, you've got your seasons, you know, everything in there that you could possibly think. Now here, which I've never seen on a site before, when we're going back to the diamond art, it says big size. So if you have problems with your eyesight, you can get slightly bigger ones. Isn't, wouldn't that be lovely? Look at that. Any little girl would love have a castle like that. Look, a lovely pink castle. It's just beautiful. Whoops, the days we've gone back to that one again. I do apologise. Now, this is all the new arrivals. Lots and lots of keychains. Now, here, Pikachu. Now, over here, they're just going crazy for Pokemon again, you know, and... The craze started probably about five years ago again. And they're still going on about Pikachu. It's unbelievable, you know. Um, 
I mean, I've still got cards in the house from my boys when they were collecting them when they were at school. <laughs> but they're just gorgeous. And the prices, now you've got six beautiful keychains there and then you look at the price. Absolutely brilliant. Bookmarks, that was another one. Uh, decorations, bags. Now this is the other one, bags. Just clicking on the first one. Bags. Now how beautiful would a bag like that be? It, you know, it's it's gorgeous. They really are. So please go and have a look. They've got some incredible stuff. There are so many pages. I will be here all day trying to show you what they have. But they've got the tools. I mean, look at these for Christmas. I mean, if you wanted to, you could treat yourself for one for next Christmas, couldn't you? You know, and you could start it in July when you're doing Christmas in July. Look, buy five dollars worth and get five dollars off. Um, they always are giving you the opportunity to save money. They are a great price. Um, I know a lot of the girls like to um, save the money. You know, we can't be throwing money away at the moment the way the economy is going. I'm not going to say anything about our Prime Minister. We've had three Prime Ministers and a new King in the last few months. So we're not doing bad over here. <laughs> so please go and have a look. It's a beautiful, beautiful sight. Um, I will do some more on the one that I've just got. So you can see it built up and see how we've got on with it. Um, but it's perfect. I mean, just feeling the drills as you put them down. They feel good quality i have had some in the past where you've got like plastic coming out either side of them you know so you've got a circle you'd have a little bits of almost like a flower effect thin around the bottom of them you know where it's not pressed out properly and things like this so absolutely incredible i am just tickle pink and i can't wait to, to have a go at this and I'll see you all soon, guys. Thank you so much for being here. I hope the pictures aren't too dark. But as I say, it is, we've had probably two weeks of very, very dark weather outside. Lots and lots of rain, lots and lots of snow. And I wanted to get this done. So have a wonderful new year, everybody. Thank you. Love and blessings. Bye.